How does Tor maintain anonymity when a source and destination are required at the end? I had a question about Tor and the anonymity status of a fully decrypted packet that leaves a Tor exit node. My high-level understanding is that prior to a packet traversing the Tor network, a Tor client chooses three Tor relay nodes for the packet to go through and encrypts a packet with the exit node's public key, then encrypts the encrypted packet with a middle node's public key, then does it again with the entry node's public key. And each node decrypts the packet as the packet arrives to it. This is the part where I don't understand how this process achieves anonymity. After the Tor exit node fully decrypts a packet, that packet will be a normal packet so it should have a source address and a destination address. Therefore anyone who sniffs a packet after it leaves a Tor exit node will know what the source address and what the destination address is, right? There must be something I don't understand about the, the onion routing process and I was hoping somebody would help me with understanding how is the packet anonymous after it leaves the exit node. After all since it has been fully decrypted, its source and address fields can be sniffed just like any other packet. The trick is that it's the payload of the packet that's encapsulated, not the whole TCP packet. Therefore, when the packet leaves the Tor exit node unencrypted, it is sent with the return address of the Tor exit node. So a service will know that a packet came from a Tor exit node and is being anonymized, but unless there's information in the packet payload itself to identify you, such as login information, session cookies, or some protocol that includes your IP in the payload, the endpoint service doesn't know the originator's IP. Furthermore, the Tor exit node tracks the session, so it can return the packet to you, but it's only tracking the session from the Tor middle node to the service, website being accessed. So an exit node will be able to see the service, website being accessed, but won't know the originator. The middle node in turn is only tracking the session between the entry node and the exit node. So it knows neither the originator nor the destination. The entry node knows the originator's IP address, but doesn't know the destination. The reason there are three nodes instead of two is to defend against someone who's compromised either the entry or the exit node from being able to sniff traffic going into, out of the other node and make reasonable conjectures on which originator traffic correlates with which destination traffic based on packet size and timing. With three nodes, the entry node doesn't know which exit node is used and vice versa.